What's going on again? I'm back again and today um, it's going to be a, a bit of a different video. It's more of an analytical video. As you guys may know, Icon Swaps 3 has come out the other day. And um, it has confused a lot of people and uh, it's, to be honest, it's pretty disappointing. Most of the, most of the cards, I, I would never put in my squad, alright? Because um, a team, like, you know, with the whole coronavirus thing and all, team of the, team of the season is probably going to come out a lot sooner, right? So, like, like it doesn't, it, it just makes no sense. Like, you should, the EA should have released, like, much, much better cards, more variety, and um, much higher variety of good cards to use up until team of the season, if you guys get what I mean, right? Like, why, why should we grind for players like Rick Whelm and um, players like freaking Lampard, for example, or Baby Hullet? Like, are, are you serious, EA? Like, ugh, they, they just didn't get it right this time, in my opinion. And um, what this video is gonna cover is like which combination you should take. Yeah, should you take should you should you take freaking Zidane for all of your coins? Um, and um, in brackets, I'm, I'm I'm being sarcastic. You should not take Zidane. That that's ridiculous. It's the baby Zidane. Just buy him yourself, in my opinion. But yeah, all right. So we just, today we're just gonna analyze a couple of players and look at their stats and uh, which combination you take. So. Um, in terms of um, value per token, I believe I saw. Yeah. Um, just give me a second, guys. I think one of the highest value players is a uh, Canavaro. Canavaro is a really good card. Canavaro and uh, Moments Capita. But guys, come on! Like, are you really gonna grind 21 tokens for a right back? Like, team of the seasons like coming soon. There's gonna to be tons of really good team of the seasons, and uh, like, just don't grind for a 2.4 like for a prime icon right back. That's ridiculous. Um, and I don't even look at Zidane. Like if you take Zidane, like I, I don't even know what to say. So some of the good cards that I'd use personally would be Petit, Cannavaro. I mean I'd use Grinch. Grinch is a beast. But um, there's a lot of good right wings anyway, uh, so I personally wouldn't do them. And like 21 tokens, man. I, Dalglish is really good. Burkham's, Burkham's alright. I have to say, there's the game. There are much better players for cheaper prices. Um, Kaka, don't don't use him. Trust me. Uh, his stats suggest he's a really good card. He's not. Trust me. Like with all the lag and stuff, he's not gonna feel great. Maldini's really good. Um, Overmars alright. Poyal. 70 through pace don't even think about it logic's decent there's something wrong with him like his stats are really good but yeah he's just unusable gatuto nope Trezget, nope and litman come on this this guy's a meme now he's six tokens for a reason just don't don't even consider his existence so it's about 23 tokens um the combination that a lot of people are going on with is the prime icon pack the prime icon pack and either Maldini, sorry, hold on, yeah, either Maldini, if they're at 13 coins, or uh, Gattuso. I don't know, like, Gattuso is not really good enough. If you can get more than 23 icons, I think you can get Kaka as well, maybe for the chemistry. But um, other than that, I wouldn't take a single player if you guys get by my mean. Like, but come on, team of the season coming pretty soon. You can guys get really good players then. But yeah, let's just take a uh, uh, analyze Maldini for a second. Yeah, I'm just gonna take a look at his, uh, some of his stats. I think it's a yeah middle Maldini. All right, 82 pace. Um, I, I've said this before. The perfect pace for a center back is 80, 86, 88, 87. In my opinion. All right, it's depending on how the dribbling is and stuff but like yeah i think it's really it's good enough I don't, you don't need 90 pace for a center back it's actually counterintuitive like when when the center back is too fast they get out of position if you guys get what i mean so if you play an anchor on this guy he goes up to 87 pace which is perfect and he was six foot one that's the meta height for a center back um his stamina is 80 it's not great but it doesn't really matter for a center back if you play low depth anyway but yeah look at those defensive stats 99 everything perfect man he's just gonna stop balls all day uh strength and aggression it's not great it's not great but um yeah you just rely on his defensive stats he's gonna do well now the other player you can get is ricardo kaka 
yeah the prime ricardo card i've used him before and yeah he doesn't feel too great like he's a great card he is a great card but it's just it's just better players man um like if you suffer a lot of lag like me he's gonna feel super clunky on the ball but anyway if you apply a good chemistry stone like a, a dead eye you know, he's good in, he has goodish strength low aggression i i don't know what they're doing man but uh, yeah he has really good like decent enough pace good shooting good passing good dribbling but yeah trust me guys he feels the only con with this card he feels clunky on the ball and his, he doesn't play up to his stats trust me guys a lot of people don't mess with um you know fuck with uh, ricardo kaka but yeah other than that some of the players i've had my eyes on would be petite and um Cannavaro. yeah emmanuel petite six foot one as like if you play him as a cdm six foot one pretty good good jumping as well and uh, if you play his shadow on him yeah he becomes an absolute god all right basically a discount for yara he's pretty good value man um if you go for a single player i'd go for petite in my opinion three shots three star um not that many cons like if you play him slow sole purpose as a cdm he's gonna do very well another player i've had my eyes on would be Cannavaro. This guy is a god, man. A prime icon bonus card. I think, in my opinion, this is the best value. Like, this is st straight up the best value. Um, if you don't take the icon, prime icon pack, aim all your co coins towards this guy. Get him as a center back. And uh, you won't really need to buy anyone else. He's like a top 5 center back in FIFA 20, in my opinion. If you play him properly, he's a beast. So, you can only pair him with another center back that you put your money into so the cost effectively he's, he's a really good option I'd, I'd take him if i was going to aim for a single player but um yeah um let's just go back to the page there um yeah the rest of these like obviously you can go for Garincha. i wouldn't go for him personally there's a lot of good right wingers out there already and um the grind is not worth like 21 coins for just for a single player ridiculous capitan no way man no way just don't be ridiculous <laughs> don't be ridiculous dalglish is pretty good not gonna lie dalglish is pretty good but there are better better players and i don't think these guys are worth the grind in my opinion no so the general consensus is that most people are gonna take maldini plus an icon SBC pack now um the problem is my pack luck is really good i'm gonna do it anyway but my pack luck is really good i'm probably gonna get nakata or litman in my opinion but at least i'm gonna get maldini all right maldini is a card i'm looking for I'm gonna use them uh, up until the team of the season and uh, hey this is good value man but uh, other than that i think we've uh, touched up on anything so what i've covered is that the probably the most logical and safe um icon swaps combinations you take is the icon spc icon spc and middle maldini other than that um i'd go for um Cannavaro. for a single i'd, I'd go for i'd go for Cannavaro as a single player yeah Cannavaro probably the best value but uh, anyway guys it's been your boy shiz with a another icon swaps video this is the first ever sorry but uh, yeah see you next time